Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. This video I'm going to show you how you can get some slow motion from 4K footage by using your Osmo Pocket. So let's just jump right into Adobe Premiere here and let's get going. <laughs> I've got a 1080p timeline set up here. So this is Osmo Pocket footage. This is the slow-mo option in the Osmo Pocket. This is 1080p and it's okay. You know what? It's acceptable. If you're looking at this on a phone, it looks really, really good. All of that said though, it lacks a little bit of detail. So let's get rid of our 1080p slow motion. And now let's take a look at these two shots. And if you're working in Adobe Premiere, you're like, that's not what I shot. Remember that this is a 4K clip, so we need to set to frame size. Never scale to frame size, always set to frame size. And you can create a keyboard shortcut. So I've created a keyboard shortcut for this. So if I press F2 on my keyboard, it sets the frame size, not scales it, it sets the frame size correctly. This was shot in 4K 60. Now to slow this down, I'm just gonna separate this out here. We can see it's just normal speed, but to slow it down, slow it down as they'd say, all we gotta do in Adobe Premiere, and it's a similar thing and depending on the software you're using, but in Adobe Premiere, we're looking at rate stretch, we're looking at the speed, so I'm pressing Control and R. Alternatively, we can just right click and go to speed and duration. So the speed here is 100%. Now, because this was shot at 60 frames per second, this is a 30 frames per second timeline, which basically means we can half the speed of this. Press OK, and now, we've got some buttery smooth slow motion. To show you guys the comparison between the slow-mo and the normal speed, here's a slow-mo that we slow down and bang back into the 100% speed. So there is quite a difference and you do get that buttery smooth slow motion all in 4K. So that's it. That is really easy to do. It's one of the most simplest tutorials that you're gonna see. I think anybody can kind of do that. You just gotta remember what you're shooting your footage in. And yeah, that's it. My name is Vic. There's a subscribe button there if you found this tutorial useful. It would be great if you'd hit the subscribe button. If not, then you know, just don't hit subscribe. Anyway, uh, we will see you in the next episode of the vlog and until then, don't stop fighting for yourself.